For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Tuesday, May 9th, my name is Ian Kelly and these are the stories we're following at this hour. A Brattleboro man faces drug charges related to a Sunday evening traffic stop. 34-year-old Christopher Baxter was charged with violation of conditions of release along with possession of fentanyl, cocaine, a regulated drug without a prescription, hallucinogenic drugs, and he was in possession of brass knuckles. Baxter was arrested, transported to the department, and lodged on bail. Baxter was arraigned Monday at Wyndham County Superior Court Criminal Division. The governor may be gearing up to veto a Brattleboro charter change, giving 16 and 17-year-olds the ability to vote in local elections. The Senate gave the measure preliminary approval on Monday. The House already passed it. This is the second attempt to enact the charter change Brattleboro voters passed in 2019. Supporters say local issues affect young people as well, and they should be able to weigh in on those issues. Last year, Governor Scott vetoed it, and the Senate didn't have the votes for an override. The governor's office says his concerns remain, and he will probably veto it again this year. Vermont gas prices are now above the nationwide average. According to Gas Buddy, the average price of a gallon of unleaded regular in Vermont is $3.53 a gallon, compared with the national average of $3.50 a gallon. Gas prices have been falling, but Vermont's decline has happened more slowly. Brattleboro is part of a statewide campaign to recruit firefighters. The Brattleboro Fire Department will host an open house this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Central Fire Station at 103 Elliott Street. The department will offer demonstrations on what it takes to become a firefighter and the opportunities that are currently available. Fire departments around Vermont want to meet anyone interested in joining their team and making a difference in the lives of those served. WTSA Sports, Aaron Hicks broke out of a season-long slump with a two-run homer to lead the Yankees past Oakland on Monday night, 7-2. Those teams play again this evening. Clark Schmidt on the mound to New York. First pitch is at 7.05. The Red Sox had Monday off. They are in Atlanta tonight to begin a series with the Braves. Nick Pavetta on the mound for Boston. First pitch is at 7.20. And Game 5 of the Eastern Conference semifinal playoff series continues for the Celtics and 76ers tonight. The series, tied at two games apiece, tip-off at the TD Garden this evening, is at 7.30. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on your Tuesday, May 9th, have a safe and tremendous rest of your day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.